In this American English pronunciation video, we're going to go over how to pronounce the word at in a sentence. I love reductions. As you probably know, there are lots of words in American English that will sound different in the context of a sentence than they do on their own. At is one of these words. On its own, it has the a as in bat vowel and the true t, at, at. But in a sentence, it will often reduce to the schwa vowel, uh, uh, uh. The final t will either be a stop t or a flap t depending on the next sound. If the next sound is a consonant, then it will be a stop t. If the next sound is a vowel or a diphthong, then it will be a flap t. Let's take a look at some sentence fragments. First, it my. It my. The word after the word at begins with the m consonant, so the t here is a stop t. It, 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 it my. It my. Ida. Ida. The sound after the word at here is the schwa sound, a vowel. So the ending T will be a flap T. Ida, ida, ida. Now let's look at some full sentences. I'll be at school. It, it. The word after the word at here is school, beginning with a consonant. So the T will be a stop T. It's school. It's school. I'll be at school. Also, are you noticing how fast the word is? As a function word, as a reduced word, it's very fast. It, this provides nice rhythmic contrast in the sentence to the stressed syllables. For example, it's school, it's school, it's school. They're both one syllable, but the word at much quicker than the word school. It's school. I'll be at her house. The next word after the word at is the word her, but I'm dropping the H to reduce that word, so the next sound is actually the schwa sound. That means the T will be a flap T. Utter, utter. Utter. I'll be at her house. I'll be at her house. I got it at the corner store. At the, at the. So the word after the word at begins with a consonant, therefore the T is a stop T. At the, at the. I got it at the corner store. I'm going to be at Anna's until six. At Anna's. At Anna's. The next word begins with a vowel sound, so the T is a flap T. At Anna's. I'm going to be at Anna's until six. I'm busy at the moment. It the, it the. Again, the next word, the, begins with a consonant, so it's a stop T. It the, it the. I'm busy at the moment. I hope you'll notice when native speakers do this and start doing it yourself. Integrating the reduced at into your speech will help smooth out the line and also add some nice rhythmic contrast to the longer stressed syllables in a sentence. That's it, and thanks so much for using Rachel's English. Don't stop there. Keep learning with my fun American English in Real Life playlist, my Reduction and Linking playlist, or any of the playlists on my channel. And don't forget to check out rachelsenglish.com, where there's lots more to work with.